Welcome back to your show, Identities Umklo. But where today we're talking about the 16 days of activism, where we're joined by the Ambassador Van Helmond uh, from the Dutch Embassy. Uh, the, I've, I'm always confused between Dutch, the difference between Dutch and Netherlands, but it's the same country. It's the same. And I am joined also by Madame Nyasha Mazango uh, from Sasa Project. And Nyasha, you shared a lot of interesting things uh, before we went on the break. But do you feel like there's been change uh, in the work? Because as far as I remember, Sasa has been doing this work forever, way before we even joined this work. Has there been improvement? Has there been change in attitudes uh, with community? What's the situation? Yes, the efforts have been uh, meaningful. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of change, especially in attitude, the people, how they see, if, especially the survivors of rape mm -hmm. uh, or survivors of uh, any form of uh, violence. They now can uh, refer them because they know where to refer them, to the police, to Msasa, to other actors that can support these survivors. But uh, I just want to mention that uh, it's not about numbers. Mm -hmm. Gender-based violence is not about numbers, and the populations are not static. So uh, you deal with this woman today, mm. to, uh, next day her child is the woman that is coming to you. That's why you keep on seeing the numbers go like going up or people coming out. It's, uh, it's, it's a matter of uh, the situation continuous. What we need to know is that there is gender-based violence in mm. Zimbabwe and we need to deal with it. You have yeah. said a lot of things. Let's not focus on numbers. Yeah, my log frame, log frame, this, that. People, women are suffering, yes. the bottom lines. And you've also spoken about how there's been a change in those women that are survivors of, by survivors, we're just saying, and then they're coming up, they're, they're bold to report. Yes. What is the attitude around men? Do we have other men who are supporting this? Because that's another thing. If a, a person is raped by Bamdiki or by a relative, um, um, are, are, are the other men and the other people supporting in the family for the for the case to be reported, or the, we're still suffering backlash? Uh, I think it's 50-50. Mm -hmm. You find that a number of men are coming out to represent their sister, their, nice. their daughter, their mother, their any, if, uh, an aunt, uh, the female relative in their life, uh, the female in mm -hmm. their lives. They, they are coming out to do that. Uh, and at Msasa, we've put chairs outside mm -hmm. where men can sit and wait or even wow. come in to receive uh, counseling on behalf of their female uh, relatives. So we find that there are men that have uh, made their decision mm. to make sure that uh, women should, not, should be protected and violence should be prevented, especially rape should be stopped. There are men like that, and we have identified a number of gender champions mm. um, uh, previously, uh, where we are having traditional leaders coming out, we are having um, professional men coming mm. out to, to say uh, women should be protected. We also have th those men that are still uh, are saying, no, it's their fault. There's no, there's mm. no rape. They, they must game. have asked for it because mm. they are wearing a, a short skirt or a short mm. dress. But uh, when we talk to them, uh, when uh, different organizations try to, 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 to do these campaigns, mm. they actually explain that it's not about the dress because you find even women in long skirts, they are raped. Even you find children in diapers. babies in diapers, they are raped. So this situation with the, the, the attitude uh, is still there, mm. uh, that uh, is, is her fault. Mm. But we also find that there are very supportive uh, men that are saying it's time to stop. And also, yeah. I think just says there are men who are supporting women reporting cases of abuse. Mm -hmm. You also find that there are women who are still shouting out mm -hmm. other women mm -hmm. who are saying, you, you, mm -hmm. what do you think? What's so special mm -hmm. about you? Let's not report it. Mm -hmm. So we have a mixed bag. That's, that's interesting because mm -hmm. we're coming from a situation where usually it was just the women mm -hmm. supporting other women. But if we have the men supporting women and saying, let's go and report and speaking against the abusers. Mm -hmm. I think we, we have come a very long way. And I really just want to pay homage to organizations like Msasa, but now JPV, mm -hmm. who have been doing amazing work. The likes of Tege Life came yesterday. But we are learning and we're supporting what you're doing. And we really, really just want to celebrate you guys and honor Netim San. I know she's got great news. She's got a baby, but we really appreciate you guys and the Absolutely. Netherlands and all yes. the, the partners in our 
our country who've been supporting this work and because mm. every year we come in we're talking about this that but mm. we are changing lives we're helping attitudes are changing mm -hmm. and we saw we pay homage to msasa we pay homage uh, to people who've been doing this um, wonderful work um ambassador what has been your take what is um uh, what what has been your what have you seen around the attitudes of gender-based violence in Zimbabwe during your tenure? Well, um, to be honest, I was quite shocked after mm -hmm. a few months that I realized right. um, the prevalence of gender-based violence <laughs> in Zimbabwe. That's it's yeah, it's shocking and it's and and it's very vis physical. It's violent mm. um, and uh, it's degrading. And um, so that that shocked me. Then um, there are two things we've got. We had elections, um, mm -hmm. um, and during and I saw that especially women in politics, right? Oh, they are faced with a lot mm -hmm. of um, um, verbal abuse, but also physical and even sexual mm -hmm. abuse, yes. and that's shocking because wow. those are the the female leaders yeah. of this country, um, and the fact that they are not even able to address it mm -hmm. is um, well. Um, it's quite, quite, a, quite a setback to right. the whole discussion. Mm. Mm. But okay. Um, but the positive side is absolutely the organisations like mm. Musasa mm. or the Adult Rape Clinic, mm. where I yeah. presented uh, some flowers yesterday, <laughs> um, because there is a system in place, <coughs> and yes. um, and it's very important that women or victims know that there's a system that they can fall back on. Very much in the hear me too, it's time to say, I want to report it. Don't be shut out. We are hearing that there's been great progress. There's been great works that's been happening. And every organization, every gender champion, we thank you for the work that you've been doing. Keep supporting, ending gender-based violence against women and girls and some men in your communities do not laugh at women when they come to you or start questioning what they're they wearing in the spirit of ubuntu even if you found me naked you have no right to touch my body you have right to be you, to have self-control but humanity says when you see me naked or when you see me wearing a short skirt you should empathize and say oh my sister what is wrong or whatever it is um but you have no right to touch somebody else's body it's illegal the the law will come after you but we are at this at that point again uh viewers where we read from you we always love to hear from you because this is your show so we're going to read a few comments or questions uh, from some of you and ambassador uh, Van Helmond is going to answer one or two questions. Yes. One moment. So uh, this one says, Hi Nyari, I was really amazed by the show today where you had the Australian ambassador talking about gender equality. I am 18 years old girl and I'm so much into changing the world and advocating for women's rights, especially young girls of my age. Well done girl. I have been a victim of different forms of abuse as I grew up and this made me to lose my confidence and my self-esteem. Even up to now, I'm still in, I am still struggling uh, of trying to get out of depression and take a few steps in my life. I would like to know, Kuti, how can I be able to join an organization like yours? She doesn't say her name or where she is from. Ambassador Helmond, she's a young woman who's struggling, who wants to work for our community. What do you have to say to her? Well, that's a very positive sign because she's apparently she's she has been abused, mm. but she's looking forward. Yeah. Right. She realizes there is life after abuse. Mm. Yes. So I think that's something that needs to be supported. Right. So uh, and if someone wants to play a role in their community, they should tell people. Mm -hmm. That they're ready to play a role, and they 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 have time um, to spend on social issues within the community. So um, a very positive sign, and uh, speak out and and offer your services uh, to your community. You had it. 
There are many organizations in your community that are ready to embrace you and also find help. There's Msasa, there's Tega Life, there's many organizations out there who are ready to work with you, to, to provide counseling for you. Um, so Ambassador said, speak out, engage, let people know that you're ready. Many organizations, you can volunteer even at the church. Until next time, viewers, it was lovely to have you on Identities. Stay good these holidays. Goodbye.